Start on the book. Action! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Jermaine Greer! She is a god. Well, of course you know I mean goddess. Um, take your shoes off, have some donuts and coffee if you'd like. Relax. There are no rules at Hear Me Roar Bookstore. You know, <laughs> even if you had a child, you could nurse you. So, embrace the freedom. See, I think that might be Susan ready to check out. Oh, it is Miss Susie. How are you doing, girl? Great, now that they've changed that new law. <laughs> I know what you mean, right? Let's see what you got. Oh, Andrea Dworkin. Excellent choice. And Camille Paglia, another great one. Ooh, Erica Jones. You know, some say I'm just too lenient with her. They say that she's a post-sexual revolution prostitute and not a female empowerment icon, but I disagree. She made me responsible for my own orgasms. You feeling that? Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you're in for a whole new world, a realm of self-empowerment. Yeah. Okay, dear friend. Here. I tell you, you call me, okay? <laughs> oh, excuse me, young man. I have to ask you to leave. Don't give me that look. You don't see me charging in down at the Elks Lodge on 4th Avenue and invading their space, do you? I respect your space for your gender, and we would appreciate it if you'd do the same. We worked hard to get here. You would not believe the pressure I had when I opened this store, the first one in Denver. I moved here from Alabama thinking there would be less prejudice and more social acceptance. Instead, we got glares, dikes written on the window. I, you know, I just couldn't, you would have thought that they thought we were atheists. No, 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 Satan worshipers. No, witches. They thought we were witches in here conjuring up spells. I swear, when they put up that monument in the square that looks like a penis, you know it looks just like a big, fat penis. <laughs> the powers that be all swore, oh, it's just the artist's freedom of expression. Something about nuclear war and mushrooms. <laughs> looks like a cock about to explode to me. <laughs> and I could have sworn that they put it there to burn us at the stake. I just knew they were going to burn us on that penis erection. <laughs> but, well, we got past that, and then, speaking of witches, <laughs> I forgot. I had an employee that looked just like Roseanne Barr. I swear, she looked just like Roseanne Barr. She stole my cash register. The whole thing, not just the money. The whole friggin' cash register. I still don't know how she got it through that damn door. But anyway, Denver kind of lets us be now. <laughs> Only took a dozen lawsuits and one Gloria Allred. <laughs> so now we have this right, and, you know, I'm sorry, but you just have to go. Maybe when you're older, you'll understand the dynamics of the war between the sexes. FedEx. <laughs> oh, well, do you need me to sign anything? <laughs> nice ass, lady. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, um, okay, well. <clears throat> Who's up for a discussion about my secret garden? <laughs> <laughs> and cut, excellent.